Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dennis Duke Wonyala. I'm super excited to be having you again. Happy New Year 2024. It's going to be a roller coaster so you need to tighten those seat belts. Today we're going to talk about or we're going to have a conversation about how do we add value to our farm produce or our farm activities. For example, today I'm going to have a gentleman that I've actually had here before. He is into goat farming, but this gentleman decided that let me add value to my goats by actually opening up a recreation center, a restaurant to be specific. It's going to be like a resort. So the gentleman that we are talking to today is called Hamisi Semanda. Yes. How yes, are you doing? Not bad. How is the farm first of all? The farm is really doing well. We are producing. Mm. We are producing a lot of kids. Okay. But we are preparing again to come here. How did that idea come about? Yeah, like recently, uh, Dance Duke, mm. when you visited me at the farm, mm. you saw whatever we are doing. I've been teaching people how to do goat farming. Mm. And uh, they have done it. Mm. Then what next? True. Actually, most of the businesses that we've been doing in the country here, mm. they get uh, stuck somewhere. And me as me, I, I decided to make at least a complete chain and make sure that at least there is something somebody might be looking at. That if you start uh, goat farming, what do you do? You breed, you're looking at different markets like the way I was explaining to you. Me, I thought about a lot of people, a lot of crowd that is really uh, following me up. Then after following me up, what next? The reason why most of the businesses in, in this country, they are not mostly reliable. Why? Because they have no plan B. So for us, we decided uh, from farm, let me also do the plates. So the vision of this, I know most of you have been seeing me in this label, Harman Mo Breeding Farm. Right now, I'm changing into Ham Garden Cafe and Grill. What does it mean? We are doing what they call value addition. If you follow me and you're doing farming with me, uh, from the farm, we have different animals. Good quality, which are going for breeding. Uh, average quality that we sell for breeding, sometimes we slaughter. But right now, where we are, the ones that would not be recommendable for breeding, we bring them here, we do fattening of them, then after doing fattening of them, we bring them on plate. Uh, me as me, I'm not looking at that as a stop point because um, goat farming has a lot of segments. We have a lot of things that we use uh, from goat farming. One, to uh, the skin, we also have uh, other things that can come out of that. Mm. So what I'm looking at is if you do goat farming, well, it's very good. Then from goat farming, what next? Do goat farming, do value addition to plate. I'll be even explaining to these people how much money can you get from a value added uh, product. Then also, I'll be letting them know that we even have some other opportunities that we've not handled, and of which I need also their influence, I need their contribution, so that we also do the outlets, like the way you see the skin, uh, sorry, the shoe making companies, mm. the belt making companies, the sausage making companies. You know, we don't even have the, 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 the goat fillet. Have you ever seen it? The steak? No, I have not. So, have you also seen uh, the sausages? Mm, so, not. Meanwhile, I've not seen for goats. <laughs> because of the demand and the goat that I would even sell at 5,000, 500,000 mm. for breeding, when I bring it here in eight months, I get over 800,000. So I think you can see yeah, the task. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, just in case you didn't know, today here, since I have come, I'm going to do the meat testing for a whole goat. I think I should feast on it alone. Eh? First of all, um, did you have prior information and knowledge in regards to this particular line of business or you had to consult other people? I consulted mm. um, a lot of people actually. Mm. You know, when you're going into business, we always advise these people that you guys, you're going into this business. Mm. You need people who are skilled about it. So Absolutely. me, what I did, I got a consultant company, but I already had an idea that if I do good farming, I will not stop with the farm. What next? I will do value addition. Of course, I had to involve in more people that have more skills 
that know everything on board and I paid them money, they set up this. Me, what I want is value addition of my project. So when you look at ham gardens and cafe, yeah. is it just going to be food alone, like meat, just meat, or there are other services? Dense Duke, let me tell you one thing. Uh, farming is a broad thing. That's what I can start with. Um, you look at doing value addition. When you're doing value addition, you're going to find that you need an appetizing place. That means you add up a garden where a person can stay and sit in the nature. Mm. Then, on top of that, you're going to include in other things. If we are talking about of goat, the goat doesn't, it's not eaten alone. Mm. But you're going to find yourself also expanding your project into other things like chicken because you have uh, already the, the market. Mm. Two, you have uh, fish. You find that you also need to go into fish because you have the market. Mm. You find yourself being a promoter. What I'm trying to explain to you, Dance Duke, we are not doing only goat. Though a goat is our it's, signature. It's our main, main thing. Yeah. So the idea yeah. is in whatever you are dealing in, be it chicken, yeah. be it goat, yeah. be it rabbit like yes. me, yes. or um, whichever animal you're dealing in or any other crop, yeah. you can have a farm to the table or to the plate experience. Me have told people many times that farmers, we are supposed to uh, own the roasting points we are supposed to own companies which can do value addition on our products. We should own company which does marketing, mm. but all begins with the farmer. True. But for us, what we think when you do rabbits, then Duke, you want to look for who is going to buy your rabbit. My rabbit. Not knowing that you can do something more valued out of it. And even you get much more you money. You even get more money. May I have that mentality that I will not tell you that move and get wealth from that corner when I'm poor. I have to first run and go there. To be an example. Aha. I get the money, then you follow me after seeing what I have exactly done. So in simple terms, we're going to have all kinds of foods with goat farming, with goat being our main food. Yeah. And then we're going to have like parties, yes. refreshment, yes. and then accommodation. Yes. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, actually, Ham Garden is a place to be. Why? It's a place with a very good nature. Mm. You see the good flowers, the beautiful flowers. You see good fountains. You see good artwork. You get it? Mm. So we shall have the parties. We shall have the dinners. We shall have the proposing points. We shall have a lot of things that somebody would think about. And two, I'm now going into accommodation. You get? But the, the whole point started with God. So you're adding up a lot of things, but the beginning of the whole story was from the God. God. Mm. I think now you're seeing a God man becoming a promoter, mm. becoming a, a hotelian, mm. and more others. You find that we shall even be selling to you the shoes yeah, true. as time goes on. Oh, wow, wonderful. Yes. So yeah. ladies and gentlemen, just to put uh, everything into perspective, the reason as to why we encourage and we call upon a lot of people to join the value addition chain is simply to ensure that you get all the profits. A lot of times, Farmers are the ones who toil a lot, but unfortunately, they are not the ones who gain a lot. In fact, as the saying goes, it is the middlemen that earn a lot more in our stuff that we take a lot of time to produce than us as farmers. Correct, Mr. Yeah, Hamisi? That's true. That's so true. the reason as to why Hamisi, I, and several others have come up with such initiatives is simply to add value to these products that we are dealing in and to ensure that we get every little profit out of it. Yep. I had a gentleman that I recently interacted with and he deals in um, um, uh, watermelon. What he does, he doesn't sell to anybody. Mm -hmm. he, pick, he gets a car, he, 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 he rents it, and then comes to his farm, harvests his watermelon, and goes and sells it to individual customers. So a watermelon that could have probably costed um, about maybe two thousand, he sells it at five thousand, so he gets extra three thousand more. Yes. So those that's how people are actually trying to manage, and that's what you should equally uh, do out there. So in 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 the time that you've been in this business, at least not very long, of course yes. it's still a new space. Yeah. What are some of the challenges or that you got when you were starting the business? Hospitality is too much challenging than even farming. That's what I can tell you because 
you are dealing with a lot of uh, people who are intellectuals, people who think for you, people who are planning for you. Just imagine a farmer, um, um, an ex-vet who went into farming, I had an idea. Then from there, somebody is going into hospitality. I don't know how they portion the meat. I don't know how they portion the plate. So I had to rely on somebody. So every person was telling me a lot of things. This is how this is done. Then finally somebody else come and tell me, I miss this was, uh, was a cheat. He cheated you. So I got a lot of confusion on the way, but I learned, I agreed, me, I believe that a technical person can do the best for me. So that's why I invested a lot of money in the, um, uh, in the contractors, or we call them the consultants. And they did all what they did. Uh, they hacked, hiked a lot of things that I didn't know. But finally, I've been able to understand it slowly by slowly. Then some other thing also uh, in hospitality. I didn't have uh, a person who could come out and give out idea like the way you see Hamis and Dance Duke? We upload YouTube channel um, videos. We show you how to start a goat farming, how to manage it, how to do everything. But in hospitality, those people were not there. So I had to plan my way, knock the the the, 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 the wall. Those who are bright, squeeze me at the end because I had no option. But I've learned the hard way. And then two. Also, having something that had a lot, uh, that has a lot of people who are educated, it's also a very confusing end. Because you find that they all tell you that they are true, and everybody wants to report to you. But this is lying to you, the another one is also lying to you, another one is also lying to you. You end up failing to understand who is good. And you know, with the, our business of farming, uh, you're dealing with one intellectual, the rest are lay man. So you can always convince them and they tell you the truth. Then also, they don't have that mentality of hatred, you know, uh, fighting each other in farming as compared to this kind of business. And two, uh, with this business, for it doesn't allow you to invest slowly, like the way you do for goats or rabbits and everything. Because there, you can buy two, three, but now when you reach in a point, Somebody can't tell you that you buy two plates. You'll buy in dozens. Mm. So that means you need to have a bulk money there mm. that you're supposed to put at a go. And sometimes you're putting, you're even not sure whether it's going to make money. Yeah, you get it. Mm. So this requires a lot of money at a go. If I had no animals, mm. I would get stuck. But since I had animals, I could sell some 100, then I get 50 million, I put it in. That is swept and taken. Mm. Then I get another money, then I add in like that. So. I found it hectic, putting me on pressure mm. to make sure that I wind up. And uh, how has been the experience so far in the last, uh, how long? Eight this months? Is, it's now one year. One year. Me? This business as well works when you have a farm. Mm. Uh, like for me, uh, every goat I, they slaughter, they have to give me my one million to go to the farm. Uh, but the moment you get short of stock, that money is completely diverted to the supplier. And you as the owner, you end up getting less money, like maybe 300 or 500 per day. And then when you're supplying your animals, you find that you're getting a whole of it, a million, you get it every day. Because you have animals that you're supplying to the, to the point. So it's not bad at all. I have had this as a, as a challenge at my space because as a person that owns a couple of businesses and these businesses feed into each other, for example, you have a farm and that farm is the one that supplies the restaurant mm -hmm. or the resort or whatever it is, a hotel. Mm -hmm. How do you balance between the two projects? I mean, I don't want to mix money mm -hmm. because I've had that problem before. Of course, right now I'm handling it, but I want to get your experience. How are you managing that? Like ensuring that the farm money is received and the hotel money is received and you're not mixing them. Mm -hmm. By so saying is, for example, I would pick money from one business, support the other business, and pick money from this business, like it was just Muchanganyiko <laughs> in Kiswahili. How are you managing that? No, uh, like for me, mm -hmm. I got the money from the farm. Mm -hmm. And I said I've given that money to the garden. Okay. I'm not returning it back as per now. Mm. So I gave in the money. Actually, I spent over 600 million to this place, buying the land, everything, and mm. so on. Mm. So 
what I, the money that I take back to the farm, that is the money that mm -hmm. comes from the stock of the animals they consume here. Okay. I have um, uh, an account mm -hmm. strictly for garden. Mm -hmm. I have uh, uh, an account for a farm. And I have my own account, no account that is running my own money. Okay. So the money, if they give me money here as my, 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 my Saturday, mm -hmm. I take it to, I put it, I get it off the account and you put of, it on the, your of, personal yeah, account. of the garden to my personal account. Mm. And then also the farm, if mm. they supply food here or, uh, or the meat here, mm. I get that money mm. after paying it to me because they distribute that money. Mm. This is for a goat. This is for maybe fish and everything. Mm. So for a goat, it goes straight to the okay. supplier, okay. which is the farm. Uh -huh. farms. Uh -huh. mm. So the profit they give me, it goes straight to my personal account. Oh. You get it? Okay. And theirs as them, it also keeps on their account. Uh -huh. So that's how. Me, I did not mix those. But Hamis, you talked about having used 600 million here. Yeah. Even if you said 200 million, that's yeah. a lot of money. Yes. For an average Ugandan. Yes. Are we not, isn't that the reason as to why we're not seeing a lot of people going into value addition? Because it's a bit expensive. Yeah. I don't have the money to, set up, to start up a, a factory mm. or a restaurant for, for that sake. Yeah. This world has levels. Me, I had a plan of maybe starting it small. And my idea was just making an outlet, like the way we are going to show you the, 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 the block. I wanted to do like a, a uniport or like a container whereby I only put people uh, with these common stoves to roast in that kind of life. And then I take out my animals. That can as well bring the money, but doesn't bring out the comfort of the farmer. So in your capacity, if you can afford to have such a big project, please invest it there. But if you can't afford to do that, still invest in your capacity. Even if you put an outlet, let's say you have a space or you're renting it or it's your own place. But me, what really, um, uh, what made me do this because I had where to pick the money from. Mm. But if you don't have it and you have your farm, please do a container, then put in the guys that roasts, let people keep coming. So when you get some money, keep putting that, uh, the tents, uh, uh, umbrellas, then you'll keep change every day. The moment you get the money, you put an innovation. The moment you get the money, put an innovation. But I wouldn't tell you that you guys, because you're a farmer, go pick all the money, do like the way you did. Me, my farm was able to support me, and that's where I got the money that I invested here. In, in Luganda, in yes. one of our local dialects here, they say, Omumpi wakoma, Wakwata. You, you only walk your, your, your affordability. What yes. you can afford is what you start with. That's, it. That's the entire message that Mr. Hamisi was trying to tell us. So as we wrap up, um, yep. what are those packages that are enticing at Hams? I mean, maybe you mentioned some of the things that you, you have here. Yeah, actually, in my dream, mm. I wanted to do everything best with the goat. Okay. Goat is my signature. Mm. Goat uh, pizza. Goat pizza. Goat stew. Goat, goat whatever. stew. Mm. We do whole goat. Mm. We do pan fried dry. You know now I'm now speaking the language of Yo, the hotel. Oh, hotel yeah. Sorry, from farming to also another language. Mm. So we do pan fried um, dry, pan fried weight. We do goat muchomo. Mm. We do stir fried. Stir fried doesn't have any bone okay. in it. Mm. You get it? but also fried. There is those that they just roast mm. with no Nothing. any oil. Uh, you get it? Mm -hmm. So now if you're taking a, a whole goat uh, with all the accompaniment mm. and it's around 15 kilos, it will go for 700,000. Okay. You get it? Mm. But that one, you just tell your people what you want. They can put in rice. They can put in uh, Irish potatoes. Mm. They can put it whatever you want. Yeah, this case, they can put the it menu. there. Mm. Then when you come, we give you your whole gut mm. with all the legs and also we give you the uh, knives. Mm. We give you all whatever you need. Plus the then you open it mm. yourself and you do it like the way you want. Wow, yes. interesting. And that's yes. exactly what I'm going to show you in the next couple of minutes. I'm going to make sure mm, that I show you as we are enjoying that goat. So dear farmers, you've heard it from Hamisi Semanda, the farmer now almost a hotelian.
because it's going to be a hotel. Oh, yeah. you're going to have accommodation as well? I'm going to have accommodation. Swimming pool. I'm going to have a swimming pool. Sauna. I'm going to put those, sauna, okay. steam, gym, mm. professional massage. I'm also going to put a mini supermarket somewhere. Mm. I'll put a mini uh, uh, boutique. Okay. I, I want to make a, a one-stop center that mm. when you happen to come to Ham Garden, you have everything that you want professionally. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's go and test the gold! <laughs> <laughs>